1968 Dodge Charger RT Restoration Paint Part 3. Hit that like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. I am prepping the undercarriage and I'll be prepping the trunk as well as the interior floor of the charger. And then I'm going to apply a red oxide epoxy to all three. And there's a shot of the trunk. We've got our sealant in place. Seam sealer. And we have the car completely taped up. And we're good to go. Okay, here we go with the red oxide. Just trying to do really nice even coats along the trunk. Do the best job we can in a confined space. And everything's dry. Now I'm going to be installing the K member with the suspension. Here we're installing the upper control arm. Getting it lined up to slide the uh, eccentric bolts through. And once that's in place, moving on to the rear axle. And that's a Dana. Here's a shot of those extension, quarter panel extensions. And this is the undercarriage with the red oxide. And you'll notice in a few places like the wheel wells, I've applied undercoating. And those are the torque boxes and subframe connectors that we had previously installed. And the very top edge and the bottom edge of the uh, doors are a semi-gloss black, kind of an insert. So we're going to get that taped up, get that shot. Just wrapping the door in plastic. And the final mask. There it is. Okay, applying the semi-gloss black. And here's a shot of it finished out. We're ready to install this door. Okay, we're going to prep for the vinyl top installation. Now, you notice we have some new trim pieces. And now this is a piece of a quarter panel that I cut off. And the reason I saved it, these are the factory holes for the trim. That's going to take out a lot of guesswork, make life a lot easier. Okay, now these are the old trim pieces. And we are going to cut them up and use them as a template. Yeah, these aren't in very good shape, so it's not a big deal to uh, donate them for the cause. And we want to be really precise with our uh, holes. Now, I've already drilled the holes. And let's see how they line up with the new pieces. That's going to work out well. That'll give us some accurate placement to drill our holes. Okay, we're putting the wood sticks in here to allow for the room where the window would be. Okay. 
and that's our sacrificial template there we've got that in place and we're marking out our holes and I thought I turned the camera on for drilling the holes but I didn't so poof here they are and we're trial fitting looks good yeah really nice fit and here's that piece I showed you earlier I went ahead and cut it down a little bit more this is going to be pretty much foolproof makes life so much easier And that out of the way. Here's our marks that we're going to be drilling into. But first we're going to mock this molding up. We're going to install the inside pieces. That's going to locate it to where it should go. So there's no guessing there. Now we're going to put it along the natural line that that trim falls along. Lining it up at the very front. looks right but before we drill any holes we're going to use our soapstone make a line on the top of the trim we could do it at the bottom of the trim also we want to keep in mind the width of the trim so we're going to take the trim off and you can see that our line where our trim is falls perfectly on our marks that we're going to drill. So that's just a, a safety, just to double check. And here we go with the drill. And we want to start with a like an eighth inch bit. Just working carefully and slowly. And stepping up to a three sixteenths. And finishing off uh, really gently with a countersink. We want to deburr that. And then we're going to come back before it's all over and uh, put a little bit of red in there. Seal that back up. Now we're carefully following our line in preparation of putting the vinyl top on. And this is going to be very important to be accurate because this is where our glue is going to stop. And if it's too short or too long, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So you always want to take your time, double check, triple check, and be accurate. Getting that trim out of the way so we can finish out our magic marker line. And I'm putting it in a magic marker because we don't want to use soapstone. We don't want it to uh, get rubbed off accidentally. And there it is. Again, that's where our glue is going to stop for our vinyl top. Okay. Let's get this thing on. Laying it out on the table.
And I'm using a heat gun here with a little roller to try to get some of the hard wrinkles out. And we've got the top prepped, lightly sanded. Some people do, some people don't. And applying the glue. Now this is Johnny Tovar, so he's been doing this probably about 50 years. I've learned a lot from him, really enjoy his company. Really good guy to work with, and uh, he's letting me finish it off. Getting that pressed down in there firmly into the drip rail. And there it is. Nice straight lines. Hey, thank you, Johnny. And I'm going to be trimming this thing up. And this is the fun part. Yeah, I want to work very slowly here and uh, very precisely here. Okay, inside's cut. Now let's move on to the outside. Finding our holes. And you can see when I lift this up, where the glue stops and when we cut this away you'll understand what I'm talking about now just really taking time carefully cutting this way not gouging the paint Glad that's over. There it is. And it's time to install the trim. Get this top finished out. Everything is looking really good going our way. And getting the Side trim installed. You can see our vinyl top falls right in the middle of our trim. So we did everything correctly. Really happy. Top looks great. Hey, thank you again, Johnny. Lines nice and straight. Hey, thanks to all of our supporters and followers. We're one video away from the finish out on this vehicle. So stay tuned. Hey, and as always, thanks for watching.